If you like to barbecue outdoors like I do, it's one of my favorite things, really. Uh, I'm always looking for something new to, to add to my repertoire and something new to try. One item that you might want to think about is barbecuing or grilling wild octopus tentacles. It's so simple and it'll really add a whole new dimension to your outdoor barbecue. We do it a lot for dinner parties as an appetizer or if you're just doing a, a a big barbecue and have a bunch of friends over. It's just so much fun to throw these uh, octopus tentacles on and just the aroma is going to get everybody asking what are those things and I can't wait to try them because they smell really delicious and it is so simple. And when it comes to something simple and it tastes really great, that's what I'm all about. So let me share with you a little bit of my knowledge about how to do this. So the first thing you want to do is be sure your octopus is, is already tender. Okay, and, and we do sell this product at Great Alaska Seafood. We take lemon juice. We take the juice of one lemon and we squeeze it all over the tentacles, like yay. Okay. Do the whole lemon. I'm telling you, when this stuff goes on the barbecue, the, the aromas are just, there's something you've never smelled before. And it's, and it's yummy, it's a yummy smell. For sure. So we're going to take this. I also minced up some fresh garlic, two cloves of garlic, which is right here. I'm going to add two cloves of garlic to this. Fresh ground up garlic, just minced, just like so. Then the next item is extra virgin olive oil. We'll pour that all over the, the legs here. I don't know, I never measured. I was imagine I put about a half a cup in there. You need to add more if you have, have more octopus. And then, one of the best garlic salts on the market, we use it all the time, Lowry's garlic salt. All right. Okay, and we put it on here. So, then we just coat, we just coat the legs. We just mix this all up, and we coat it. And you can, uh, said you can do this for a, a day ahead of time if you want, it won't hurt anything, or, just an hour or two or just a few minutes. And it'll turn out wonderful. Okay, so our grill's at 475. I'm gonna give it a quick little spray. Here we go. We're gonna put our, man, I smell good already. And we're gonna do that. There you go. So we have our octopus on the grill. I'm gonna throw a little more salt on there. Okay, and then the total cooking time on this we just cook them till, they, till it starts charring up a little bit, like a steak. And that really is a function of, you know, time and temperature. So if your barbecue is at 475 versus 550, it's gonna take you a little longer. And remember, the octopus is already fully cooked. Whenever you wanna pull this off, it's good to go. I like to get a, a little charred, because that's where the real flavor comes into this, this octopus. So we're just gonna, be patient, we're gonna turn it probably every two to three minutes and uh, pretty soon it'll be ready to go. Need to re-dip it, you get some char lines on it there. Yeah. Just kind of re-dip it in our, in our go sauce here. Okay. okay. Now we just wait, you know? You wait and you have a couple of beers, glass of Chardonnay, you tell some fishing stories, and pretty soon, octopus can be ready to go. Well, they're coming along nicely. Oh boy, look at that. Wow, you guys are almost there. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna go grab a little platter. This can be ready to go. Good. Good to just kind of douse it with the with the olive oil and the fresh garlic and the lemon. Really sets this 
octopus off. Well, I'm telling you, this stuff is out of this world. There we go. Oh yeah, a little bit longer here. Be ready to go. Doesn't get any better. That's what I'm talking about right there. There you go. That's what they're supposed to look like right there. Toss them down one more time. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Man, that smells good. Pull these guys off right now like this. And wow, there is your octopus. And this stuff uh, is just to die for. Put a little, a little more lemon juice on there. One final brushing of the secret sauce. And then we go and we'll slice it and it'll be ready to go. That's all there is to it. You know, you can really kick up your next barbecue. Get some octopus and just follow this simple recipe and it'll be a new go-to item for you for your outdoor barbecues. And all your guests and friends are gonna absolutely go crazy over this stuff. Okay, wow. Try this guy. Mm, sure smells good. Man, it smells good. This is gonna be something, when you try this, it's something you've never, you've never had that flavor before. And I'll tell you, it's, it's really wonderful. Okay. There you go. There it is. Char-grilled octopus tentacles. Absolutely an incredible item. Be sure you try it. You'll enjoy it, trust me. Bon appetit.